right, so this is the uh, the new frame for Mortician here. Um, sorry I didn't get any progress videos as I put it together, but this is where we sit now, and it's essentially done. Um, so some key points over the differences from the one previously. Uh, the frame rail is a continuous piece down the side instead of welded in different sections, so this is similar to the newer design for the frame for Tombstone. Um, we're also going to incorporate a shock mounting system for the drive that is similar to what we did for, for Tombstone, so this is going to be different than how we'd run Mortician before. And the previous version of Mortician still had some cross bracing welded in, and we're going to use the titanium armor as sort of both as armor and as frame support for, uh, for this version. Between those changes and then just the general shortening of the robot, it should be significantly stiffer and stronger than it was before. Because that was one of Mortician's big problems before. It had so much energy that the frame would flex and twist when it hit, and so we could knock chains off and things like that. So this should be significantly better. Um, so this is, this is the new frame here. This is the this is the previous version of frame, and so you can see the difference in the way the nose sections are designed. So instead of relying on the the, the cross bracing, we're going to rely on the armor and how much shorter the whole thing is. So basic body is the same, but the weapon support is much shorter because the weapons themselves are going to be quite a bit shorter. So. That's, uh, that's how it's going to look, so let's throw some of the armor panels on and you can kind of see how it's going to look when it competes. <laughs> solid one piece, but on the top you have to be able to get into it to get to the batteries and do work on it and whatnot. So it's, it's two pieces up top. So this will be our access right here. Um, so we've got a little bit of work to do, so I've got to drill some holes in here to mount a chain tensioner and whatnot. But basically the armor package for the robot is complete. Um, all of the panels are titanium except for the, the very back panel is aluminum. Uh, just to save weight, if I get it all together and it <laughs> magically ends up where I have enough weight left over, I'll make this one out, out of titanium as well. But for right now, it's 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 set up. Um, so this is uh, this is going to be the frame. So we're ready to start uh, mounting all the the drive components and putting stuff in it, and uh, hopefully it holds up for when we're at Robo Games. <laughs>